Hi, I'm Captain Brian Fancher with Texas Fishing Tips, and this is your weekly fishing report. We've had some interesting weather come in. Fronts have been moving in every few days and changing the pressures. As of today, we had a north wind, but that'll be changing again tomorrow. So look for fish when the wind change comes in along Penascal Point. There's a little cut right along here, and if you're running down and you can get up in there, I recommend anchoring off with a croaker or a shrimp if you're looking for redfish or trout. Now the fish have been spotty because they're this winds and these fronts are pushing in some weird patterns. So the rocks along here and the rocks along Rocky in about two foot of water are your best bet. You want to go in there and get one or two fish. If the bite slows down, move. 50 yards, 100 yards, keep bumping along there. Tide gauge bar about halfway down it is still holding some good fish, but there's a lot of grass in there. So if you're working a lure, me advice, you probably want a weedless spoon or a hook made weedless. But also I like working a little shrimp along here. The point of rocks area, there's a set of rocks right out here outside a cabin. If you'll anchor up in this area, about 20 yards off of them, and throw your croaker out there, or throw your shrimp, just free line them down there near the rocks and you'll find the trout or the redfish. Again, they're going to be spotty, but there are several rocks. Just bump down 50 yards at a time, targeting each of those rocks. The fish in Capuerta have slowed up a little bit. They're still in there, but they're mainly 14, 13 inch trout. Your occasional redfish and your occasional big fish will be in there. If you're patient and you can wait them, wait them out, then you'll find them. The other suggestion I have is coming up in here in Corrales. When the winds switch back around to the southeast, Corrales is going to give you a nice protected area and a good sandy hard bottom that you can work that. I like to get out and wade fish or drift over the sandbar right there. And from about here to here, you're going from five foot to two foot of water and it makes for a good drift line along that shore. Other than that, for those of y'all that don't have a boat, Right now, Bob Hall Pier has good fish on it using shrimp or uh, croaker or perch. You can go down there and depending on where you are down the pier, we're getting a lot of whiting and some good trout down there. Further down the beach, if you make it to the second gut or so out, just around the four-wheel drive sign, there's a lot of redfish using your uh, mullet or cut baits. Don't forget to go to texasfishingtips.com to register for our weekly t-shirt and tackle giveaway and trolling motor brought to you by Gulf Coast Marine. I'm Captain Brian Fancher and thank you for watching.